I'm out here giving one of my clients first cut of this season. Uh, they told me to uh, last year, or was it this year, uh, I would go back there and clean up leaves and stuff like that. And uh, I guess uh, <clears throat> money got tight for her, so she told me to hold off until the spring. And uh, she texted me yesterday and said, hey, I need you to <laughs> get my yard to get in. Which I knew it was going to happen, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I get it. Uh, communication is the key. But, uh, this video is not about that. It is actually <clears throat> about being prepared. During this time of the year, it rains a lot. And, you know, you got pollen starting to fall. You start to see the trees uh, bloom. Rose bushes and everything bloom. Weeds start to grow. Grass start to grow. And <clears throat> it just keeps raining. And when it's, when it's doing all that rain, what happens is... What happens is, when all that rain starts to come, the grass starts to just grow more and more and more, you know, with the pollen and everything. And it's hard for you to get out here and cut because it keeps raining. And then when you have a dry day, the ground is still wet. You know, what I mean by dry day, it's not raining. The ground is still wet. So you can't come out here with your zero turns and your walk behinds because they're too heavy. They put ruts in the yard. So you got to have your push more, self propel whatever, some light that you can get out here and get some work done. Because what's going to happen is... If you wait for it to dry up completely before you mow, you're going to be bagged up with yards after yards. And that used to happen to me all the time. And uh, I got spoiled. I was using, um, you know, my, zip, my my walk behinds. And, you know, I cut a yard in 20 minutes with one of those things. And I, <laughs> I never wanted to go back to where I started. It was with your push mower. Once you get up, once you get... <laughs> Once you feel how a riding mower, you know, whether it be a stand on or, you know, walk behind with a sulky attachment, you know, once you see how fast you can breeze through those yards, you never want to go back to a push lawnmower or a self propelled lawnmower. You never want to go back to it. And uh, that's what I do. I just say, okay, I'll just wait for it to dry up, and grounds will never dry up. And when I do cut it, I'll leave skid marks and tire tracks and ruts all in the yard and I was just too lazy to, to grab uh, the push bar but I had to learn my lesson the hard way which most of us do are you listening seven six five four three two one you'll never have the sacred stone <laughs> oh this you crazy mother It just took me back to last year. And last year, it got really hectic. Uh, it was raining a lot, like, you know, every day for like two weeks straight, it rained. And on top of that, my mower, it put me down. The transmission went out. Then I took it, uh, 
I took it to a uh, to a dealer, and uh, it wasn't a dealer that I deal with. Now it was another dealer, and they said that they was you know they turn around time is going to be two weeks. Two weeks turned to three weeks. So and on top of that, it was still raining, and um, my phone people calling my phone, and I couldn't get to anybody. And I did prepare myself for that, and I knew something like that would happen. That my mower would be down. And I would need, you know, a backup more, and I and I did not uh, prepare myself for that. And in this business, you have to be prepared. In business, period, you have to be prepared. Uh, a lot of you guys, you want to grow, and you know, you want to have all these clients. You want to get a lot of business, but are you prepared to take on that load? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Anything you want to do in life and you're working towards it and you're trying to meet that goal, you have to prepare yourself so when you do meet that goal, you can handle the task. And a lot of us don't think about that. We just we think that we're gonna be able to handle, you know, we're gonna handle year five like we handled year one. It's not gonna work. Trust me, I tried it. Uh, year one, I only had about Minimum five plant clients, maximum ten, something like that. I would get a car wash here or there. Uh, I can keep everything in my head because I didn't have a lot to deal with. Where when year two came, I had about twenty to twenty-five. Year three, you know, thirty. Year four, forty, and it just started to grow. And I was, you know, year one and three, I tried to run them the same way, and it just didn't work. Uh, I, I started forgetting to go to cut people yards because it would just slip my mind. I didn't write it down. I didn't have it saved in my phone or my calendar. It just was a mess. But I eventually got it together. But uh, pushing that yard just reminded me of a time that that uh, I wouldn't, uh, when it rained, you know, of course you can't cut in the rain. But once the rain stopped, I would be driving around running errands and I would still, I would see, you know, lawn services riding around. I'm like, what are they cutting? It's wet. But what I would see them do is they would, they would get their push mowers and they would push those yards. And uh, I got uh, spoiled, like I said earlier, because when you get on a zero turn or when you get on a walk behind, and you're able to cut a yard in like 20 minutes when you was pushing it. Sometimes it could take you 45 minutes to an hour just to push a yard. And you get on a zero turn or something and you just zoom by. It's kind of hard to go back to a push more. And you don't want to push any yard if you don't have to. But when times like that, you got to do what you got to do. Because those guys, they had been in the business for a while. So those guys knew that it was going to rain again. And this is a dry day. They're gonna get as much work as they can done. And uh, I didn't take advantage of that. But you see what I did today. That yard was, you know, it was still damp, and some spots was very wet. But I was able to cut that yard without rutting it up, or you know, spinning my, you know, my walk behind tires and tearing the grass up. I didn't have to do that. I just got out there with my walk, with my push mower, and I got it done. And uh, the um, the client texts me and say it looks great, so she's satisfied. I get my money, everything is good. So be prepared, because it doesn't make any sense to do all that hard work and build yourself up if you're not prepared to deal with the responsibility. Thanks for watching. I see you guys in the future. Are you listening?